Welcome to 230 Dudes, I'm Antonio. And I'm Charles. And tonight we've got a podcast all about how to become an astronaut. What does it take, really, to become an astronaut? Yeah, we mentioned, we, we asked each other the question, I believe, in the, the moon, moon landing, landing episode. We're like, well, what actually, what do you got to do? Yeah. But we're going to tell you <laughs> tonight at 8 p.m. on our podcast. And so we figured for this video, we'd tell you about what it takes to be president since we are in the midst of the upcoming election. Yes, and apparently it doesn't take much. No, it, it takes a lot more to be an astronaut. Way more. Way more. Basically, there are only three uh, guidelines outlined in the Constitution for what it takes to become president. The first is you have to be at least 35 years old. So we couldn't be president. Yet. Not quite. Not quite. But we're, we're, almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Uh, second, you have to uh, have been a, a resident inside the country for the last 14 years at least. So you can't have like lived in, in Rome for the last couple years. Yeah. So no, none of these, you know, backpacking through Europe. Nope. Middle, midlife crisis. Nope. Nope. Can't do if it. If your residency was in another country in the last 14 years, you are not eligible. And the final one, and this is the one that, that there's a lot of kind of controversy around, and that's that you have to be a natural born citizen. But beyond that phrase, natural born citizen, there's no clarification. It doesn't say anything else about what that means exactly. And I believe it only has to be one parent who is from the United States. They, you know, and then you're born here to be considered a natural born citizen, right? Well, no, you, both your parents can be, be, like, they could have crossed the border illegally. If you're born in the United States, you're considered a natural born okay. citizen. Right now. I thought the, I read that somewhere. Yeah, but. no, according to the Supreme Court, that's what it is. But it was something that was never really clearly defined. But there have been some weird things, like, uh, for example, there have been some people, I think, that have run for president who were born on a military base outside the country. Oh. But they're still considered to be natural born citizens. Because they're on American soil. They're on American soil. Soil or yeah. territory. Or, so it's just kind yeah. of this weird little grill. But that's it. Those three things that I named, that's all that is required under the Constitution to be uh, the president of the United States. Which is why we have what we have coming up November 8th. Uh, <laughs> but now, though the, these are the three requirements... There are some things that aren't required, but expected. There's never been a president who had a felony. Never. So if you got a criminal record, you're, you're probably out. Yeah. Um, most of all of, or all of our presidents have had families. Yes, we've never had a single president. Could you imagine that? No, it's happened in other countries, but it's never happened in the United States. What was the movie where the president was not single, but widowed or divorced or something? And he started messing with the reporter. Oh, uh, American President. It's okay. Yeah, Michael Douglas in that band. It's a good movie. Uh, you are kind of expected to have at least served in the military or had some sort of public office experience. Right. So generally, uh, either a previously been a, like a politician, like, a, like Obama was a senator. Um, Hillary Clinton, senator. Trump. Trump. No. no. Again, not a requirement. He had a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> he had a reality show. Reality one. He was roasted on Comedy I, Central. I think we him. all watched the reality episode the other night uh, in the debate. And then the last one is all the presidents have been religious. Yes. Every, there's never been like an atheist president. Uh, they all go to church on a regular basis and claim some religion as their denomination. But those are just expectations, not requirements. The only three constitutional requirements are the ones Charles listed. So if you meet those three, technically you could run for president. And it's very possible you're more qualified than some of the people running right now. So, hey, fuck it. Give it a shot. <laughs> Please. But do us a favor. Take a listen to the Astronaut episode tonight, Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. on 230dudes.com, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're also on Snapchat. You can follow us there at TWO30Dudes. And when November 8th comes around, go do something with yourself. Yeah. Go vote. Go vote. Yeah. Thanks for watching. That was good.